One family from Iraq trying to get back into the country found themselves being turned away by airline personnel in Egypt. Our uh, visas are legal and valid till May 2017. And uh, I received this visa because I put my life in jeopardy working with uh, American uh, government. Uh, and, 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 and I am ruined now. I don't know what to do. Because the immigration ban holds, uh, the immigration hold bans immigrants from entering the country for at least the next four months or until the ban is lifted. House Speaker Paul Ryan of Janesville responded to the news today with a short statement that simply reads, this is not a religious test and it is not a ban on people of any religion. A spokesperson for Ryan also said the Speaker's office originally understood it would not impact people who were in transit, but it clearly did. We have not received a response from the Speaker's office on whether Ryan was aware the executive order would result in permanent U.S. residents with green cards being detained as well. Scott Walker tweeted out pictures and posted them to Facebook and Twitter this afternoon, showing him with the president and vice president in the Oval Office. 27 News reached out to both the governor's office and his campaign to find out why he was in meetings at the White House and if he had a statement on the Muslim executive order, but we have yet to get a response. Meanwhile, protesters headed outdoors in Milwaukee today to hold a rally and protest on the new restriction. The protest was held on the steps of the federal courthouse. Many of the protesters were Iranian-born University of Wisconsin system faculty and graduate students who say the ban is hurting people who have done nothing wrong. But this affects the people who have been here legally. They have come here on work visa, a student visa. Many of them have a green card or come on immigrant uh, visas. So they have followed all of the legal procedures. Their vetting has been much longer than the people of uh, many other countries. Officials say over 100 people took part in today's protest in Milwaukee. And protests are growing outside of JFK Airport in New York at this hour after a man was detained despite having a legal visa there. This is what the crowd of protesters looks like right now, and we are getting reports of similar protests at other U.S. airports, including Dulles in Northern Virginia, right outside of Washington, D.C.